Oh, yeah. <laughs> Minecraft. Minecraft. Sfax, pure decraft. Pure BD Craft 256. <laughs> oh, yeah. Time for a celebratory Coke sesh. Not that kind of Coke. Diet Coke. Delicious. And chocolate chips. Mmm, chocolate chips. Ah! Whoops. Aspartame. Delicious. I see the player you mean. Lacan89? I... Oh, mine, it says my name. See, yes, take care. It has reached a higher level now. It can read your thoughts. That doesn't matter. It thinks we are part of the game. I like this player. He played well. He did not give up. <laughs> it is reading our thoughts as though they were words on a screen. How preposterous. <laughs> <laughs> that is how it chooses to imagine many things when it is deep in the dream of a game. <laughs> <laughs> words like a wonderful interfacing. Very flexible and less terrifying than staring at the reality behind the screen. They used to hear voices before <laughs> players could read. Back in the days when those who did not play called the players witches and warlocks, and players dreamed they flew through the air on sticks powered by demons. <laughs> what did this player <laughs> dream? This player dreamed of sunlight and trees, oh. of fire and water. He oh. dreamed it created, and it dreamed of it destroyed. It dreamed it hunted, and was hunted. It dreamed of shelter. <laughs> <laughs> the original interface, a million years old, and it still works. What a true structure. Wait, wait. But what true structure did this player create in the reality behind the screen? It worked with a million others to sculpt the true world in a fold of the and created a for and the It cannot read that thought. <laughs> no, it has not achieved the highest level. That it must achieve in a long dream of life, not the short dream of a game. Does it know that we love it, Daddy? I mean, <laughs> Daddy. The universe is kind. <laughs> Sometimes, through the noise of its thoughts, it hears the universe, yes. <laughs> but there are times it is sad. Oh, no. The long dream, it creates worlds that have no summer, and it shivers under a black sun, and it takes time to create the reality. To care it of sorrow would destroy it. The sorrow is part of its own private task. We cannot interfere. <laughs> Sometimes when they are deep in dreams, I want to tell them. They are building true worlds and reality. Sometimes I want to tell them their importance of the universe. Sometimes I <laughs> made true connection for a while. I want to help them spread the work, spread the, speak they fear. It reads our thoughts. Sometimes I do not care. <laughs> Sometimes I wish to tell them this world. You tell the truth is merely and I wish to tell them they are in the They see so little of reality in their long dream. And yet they play the game. But it would be so easy to tell them Too strong for this dream. To tell them how it how to live is to prevent them living. I will not tell the player how to pull. <laughs> player is growing restless. I will tell them a story, but not the truth. No, a story that contains the truth safely in a cage of words, not the naked truth that can burn over any distance. <laughs> Unlike your mother. If it's a body. Yes, player. Use its name. On table, player of games. Good. <laughs> Say he pause. It. Good. <laughs> Take breath now. Take another. Feel air in your looms. Let your limbs return. Yes. Move your fingers. Have a body again under gravity in air. Respond in the long dream. There you are, your body touching the universe again at every point, as though you were separate things. <coughs> as though we were separate things. Who are we? Once we were called the spirit of the mountain. Father, son, mother, moon, and such. Oh <laughs> shit, no, no, it's, it's leaving me, I can't do it. We are the universe. We are everything you think isn't you. You are looking at us now through your skin and your eyes, and why does the universe touch your skin through light on you? To see you, player, to know you, to be known. I shall tell you a story. Once upon a time, there was a player. That player was you, North Scorpio. 
sometimes it thought itself human. On the thin crust of a spinning globe of molten rock, the ball of molten rock circled a ball of blazing gas that was 330,000 times more massive than it. They were so far apart that the light took eight minutes to cross the gap, but it was, and it could burn your skin more than 1,500 kilometers away. Sometimes the player dreamed it was a miner on the surface of a world that was flat and infinite. The sun was a square of white, the days were short, there was much to do, and death was a temporary inconvenience. Sometimes the player dreamed it was lost in a story. <laughs> sometimes the player dreamed it was other things in other places. Sometimes the streets were disturbing, sometimes very beautiful indeed. Sometimes the player woke from dreaming to another, and then woke from that into a third. The green person is very long-winded. Sometimes the player dreamed and watched words on a screen. Let's go back. <laughs> <laughs> the atoms of the player were scattered in the grass, the rivers, in the air, and the ground. The woman gathered, it, gathered the atoms. She drank and ate and inhaled, and the woman assembled the player in her body. And the green and grass grew all around, all around. And, and the, green and the player woke from the war, in the warm, dark world of its mother's body into a long dream. And the player was a new story, never told before, but written in letters of DNA. And the player was a new program, never run before, generated by a source code a billion years old. And the player was a new human, never alive before, made from nothing but milk and love. Ew. You are the player, the story, the program, the human, milk. made from nothing but milk and love. Let's go further back. Oh my god. A billion, billion, billion atoms of the player's body were created long before this game in this heart of a star. So the player, too, and his information from a star, and the player moves through a story, which is a forest of information planned by a man called Julian on a flattened what? what? Ankle markets that exist in the small world created by a player who inhabits a universe created by. Sometimes the player created a small private world that was soft and simple and warm, and sometimes hard and cold and complicated. Sometimes it built the model of the universe in its head, flex of energy, moving through the vast empty spaces that call it electrons and procons. Sometimes it was called planets and stars. <laughs> sometimes the belief of the universe was that made of energy that was made off and on, offs and ons, zeros and ones, lines of code, but sometimes it was believed playing a game, sometimes it was believed reading words on a screen. You are the player reading words. Shush! Sometimes the player <laughs> reads lines of code on a screen, decoded them into words, decoded words into meaning, decoding meaning into feelings, emotions, theories, ideas, and the player started to breathe faster and deeper and realized that it was alive! It was alive! Those thousands of deaths had not been real. The player was alive! You, you are alive. And oh sometimes God. the player believed in the universe that was spoken through, through the sunlight that came through the shuffling leaves of the summer trees, y'all. <laughs> Y'all. And sometimes the player believed the universe had spoken to it through the light and fell to the crisp night nice sky of the winter, where a fleck of light in the corner of the player's eye might be a star a million times as massive as the sun, boiling the planets of plasma and blah, 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 blah. I can't read that fast. That's so And quick. sometimes the player believed that the universe had spoken to it through the zeros and ones, through the electricity of the world, through the scrolling words on the screen at the end of a dream. And the universe said, I love you. <gasps> and the universe said, you have played the game well. But not as good as your partner. And the universe said everything you need is within you. And the universe said you are stronger than you know, even more so than your partner. And the universe said that you are the daylight. And the universe said that your partner was gay. I mean, and you were the night. I am the, night. the I am the night. You were. Oh yeah, you got the Batman you from again. And the universe said the darkness you fight is within you, Batman. <laughs> Wait, the darkness you fight. Oh, and the universe said that the light you seek is within you. I do seek light within me. The universe said that you are not alone. And the universe also just cor also corrected itself after and said you are not separate from every other thing. And the universe said you are the universe tasting itself, talking to itself, reading its own code. And the universe said that it was a really weird description of masturbation, and I apologize. Also, I love you because you are love. And the game was over, and the player woke up from the dream. The player began a new dream, and the player dreamed again, dreamed better, and the player was the universe, and the player was love. You are the player. Wake up! <laughs> Wake up! You fool! Created by Marcus Person. Are there any other Easter eggs?
Twenty years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things that you didn't do than by the ones you did. So Where throw off the bow line, sail away from the safe harbor, catch the trade winds in your sails, explore, dream. <laughs>